Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to present the best whiteboard animation tools that you can use for your business or for your project. I'm going to compare pricing plans, then I'm going to also show the features and while I'll be showing the features I'll be talking about the main advantages and disadvantages I personally see. So let's start. The first one I prepared for you is a Doodly. Doodly is a top-notch whiteboard animation tool but there are some disadvantages. So with the Doodly you need to keep in mind that they don't have uh, like the free trial or like some free account that you can create to test Doodly. You need to actually buy the product to try the product, but they have 30 day money back guarantee. You have option to uh, buy standard and enterprise version, but there is one thing, uh, one disadvantage with Doodly pricing plans that is, you're gonna have plenty of character images, prop images, royalty free music tracks, and Doodly in that way is really great. But let's imagine that you want to try and use. Uh, characters with the colors. Do you think you can do it? Let's see. No, you can't because you need to pay another $67 as a one-time payment. So even when Doodly is offering uh, like the whole one-time payment for, I don't know, $70, they have in-app purchases and even when you would buy the standard version, they have really aggressive uh, marketing tactics that when you would buy standard version then you're gonna have like see another three pages in which they are going to sell you uh, some in-app plugins that you can buy so this is something that you should definitely keep in mind that when you would choose doodly you are not going to have everything so let's say that i'm choose monthly standard version of 39 dollars and to use use uh characters with colors i need to buy another seven sixty seven dollars so this is something you should definitely keep in mind when you want to use Doodly. Doodly is really great with a lot of scenes that you can use, but uh, the ones that I'm going to show you further get better transitions uh, between a drawing and also a coloring, in my opinion. Uh, the second thing is that, yes, with the characters, you can add your own and browse files but some of them what i'm going to show you the competition you can create your own characters even so that's another thing that i like so doodly is fine i i would recommend it the one huge advantage doodly has over others is that you can actually plan when you're going to upload your own image you can plan how it's going to be uh, drawn out this is huge so let's go further Again, Doodly is okay, but this is something you should definitely keep in mind. The next one I prepared for you is Videoscribe. Videoscribe is a top notch uh, because many reasons. Comparing to the Toonly and Doodly, mainly Doodly, they have characters with colors and you don't have to pay more for it. So let's say that I'm going to, uh, let's say right here, I don't know, people. And I have it right here. So I have the person. The scenes are not that great in video scribe, but I really like the way how we can transition everything and how we can work with things in video scribe and you can test it out for free. So you can actually download it and try it out if you like it. If I would come here, uh, what I really like also is that you can actually describe and uh, you can choose different hands and you can create your own hand and they got many more hands comparing to Doodly. So that's a huge thing that I personally think is like amazing. Now, uh, to go to the pricing plan, they have the single plan for 25 euros a month, 25 euro a month, then yearly plan, 13 euro a month, which is pretty cheap. Videoscribe is a top notch if you want to, uh, again, create a whiteboard animation. And in that way, it's going to be really effective and really good. You can simply add a text, you get plenty of images that you can use, and you can even upload your own. So that's pretty cool. But the huge, huge advantage comparing to Doodly is that you can actually uh, have color for characters without actually paying more money. So that's good. On both, you can play with background options, but Doodly have, has, has more uh, background options, the scenes, and that's pretty much it. The next one I prepared for you is a Toonly. Toonly is not really, it's kind of whiteboard animation, it's more so the way how you can create cartoon explainer videos. I can click here on add a new scene. And let's say I'm going to wait until the scenes are load. eShop, and I'm going to paste it. And as you can see what I'm going to play it right now, voila, here we have it. I can play with the characters here. 
and I can actually build it up with African American girl here and I can animate it. The few things that I don't really like with the Toonly is that you can upload your own character and you can't edit the characters. Also, it feels sometimes without the soul to use this program. But that's just my perspective, what I think about it when I work with a lot of whiteboard animation tools. And the pricing is really similar, like the same also with the Doodly, $20 and Enterprise, $40. You can have more character animations, more characters. And I wouldn't, I'm showing you because plenty of people are asking what is the difference between Toonly and uh, Doodly. You see it right here that Toonly is mainly for character explainer videos. But what you can actually achieve is not that much comparing the one that I'm going to show you right now. The best one, in my opinion, that you can use is Vyond. When I'm going to log in here, I'm going to show you how you can use it and how perfect it actually is. So with a Vyond, I'm going to click on a video that I have here. I'm going to edit it. Oh, wait a second. I'm going to make a video. So you have option to create whiteboard animation and you have also option to go contemporary or business friendly. So you can even create a whiteboard animation directly in the Vyond. And let me show you Vyond pricing. So, okay, this is why it's perfect and why I think Vyond is literally uh, overwhelming every single one of the tools that I showed you. Let me explain. With the Doodly and Videoscribe, it's all about the drawing. But with Yond, you can actually create animation. What do I mean? I click plus here. I can choose a template. They have more templates for the scenes and everything comparing to Doodly, Videoscribe and also Toonly. So I have uh, finance, healthcare, home. Let's say home. I'm going to choose the bathroom here. Okay. Now what I can do is to simply add a character. What you can do also is to create your own new character here. This is something that you are unable to do. But yes, you can upload your own character, for example, in Doodly, but you have option to create your own here. Select a body type, select a body type, child or man. And now I change the face, hair, mouth, eye, eyebrow, nose. I can change the top, what he's wearing, then bottom also, and then accessories. And now this is the second thing. And look at this. Let's say that I'm going to add a casual old man here. Look what you can do. You can click here on action and choose an animation for the old man. So I can go daily life. How he's like going here and I can change the expression. If he's angry, happy, desperate, confused. Like what is happening here or natural you can choose and the one thing that i like the most you can change the direction where he's looking left right camera and change the dialing here like i the dialogue now what you can do also is to simply click on it enter the effect like if it's going to be whiteboard as if it's going to be paint out or uh, draw out or if it's going to like smooth there then you can simply change the motion path. And these are the best motion path comparing to Videoscribe, comparing to Doodly, in my opinion. So this is something you should definitely keep in mind. Okay, so this is the second thing. And now look at this. I'm going to preview it. So let's see. Okay, look at this. And now I would just create a motion path while he's like going there. And this is pretty much it how it is. So this is how you can work with uh, Doodly and what you can actually do with, I mean, with Beyond. But Beyond is the most expensive ones out of all. When you come here to the pricing. And let's see. Is the most expensive ones only because I don't recommend really using the essential for $299. I would recommend going to premium only because with the essential the beyond logo will be imprinted in the bottom left of each video premium 649 dollars uh, you get literally everything here the professional is really great if you're gonna have a team but other than that beyond is like dominating so to summarize this whole video guys they are all good but with a doodly and video scribe you can do only the whiteboard animation let's say that you want to do it but doodly doesn't have a free trial so you have to actually uh, download it 
with a doodly what i like is when you're going to upload your own images you can uh, plan how it's going to be painted or like draw out on a, a whiteboard that's the first thing the second thing is that they have plenty of scenes but keep in mind that to choose a colorful or like have a colorful things here you need to actually buy and choose like plenty of add-ons they need to buy then video scribe is much cheaper the ds yearly plan is really really cheap uh, what i really like is that the smooth transitions are just better in video scribe comparing to doodly you can create your own uh, hand so that's amazing too and also uh, what is another thing that i like is that let me preview what I like another thing about uh, video scribe that with the video scribe, this is the text. You can have characters with the colors, so that's great, and you don't have to pay something as with the doodly. Now to go further, uh, we have Beyond, and Beyond, in my opinion, uh, we have Toonly. Toonly is really great, but it's just for or when you want to create a character animation uh, video in which you're going to explain things but again it's kind of limited and in my opinion the beyond is like top notch what you can choose uh, with the animations you don't have to have animations there if you don't want to you can create really great things and the last thing is that doodly and video scribe and toonly are programs that you need to download for a computer and beyond is just a tool that you use as a web platform so that's pretty much it thank you very much guys for watching if you're gonna have any questions ask me down in the comments i'll be really happy to help you and have a great day and goodbye see ya